Hey, good day. We're uh, back again. We didn't do the trip to Bali. Uh, Shaz can it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, here we are, the boat of us. Uh, we didn't end up in Bali. No, we decided to defer it till March because um, the IT meltdown around the world on Friday was probably a good sign that we needed to stay home. So here we are. And we didn't really want to get stuck in Bali. We no. only got so many days off leave. Uh, so we're back at the uh, fly terrain. Yeah, we're fly heaven, fly. which is up at Warramal. Warramal. And we're here for a night, and then we move on to Quabba tomorrow yep. for three or four nights. So thanks, Betty, for lastminute.com taking us in. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll probably be there for five nights. Um, three nights, four nights. Three, four nights, oh. Because we still need to get home. Because oh, we all have to work. Whatever, because I always get things wrong. Yeah. All right. See you soon. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, been pissing down with rain all night last night. We are um, packing up and off to Quabba Station. Probably three or four nights down there. Should be good. Then back home again. Right. Here, in the back of me. Got a bit of the sun coming up. How's that? Got a lot of bloody people that left here this morning. She belted her down this morning. Righty out, see you on the road. Here we're on the coast at uh, on the way to Quabba at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're just driving to the station and uh, yeah, seeing some whales out here. They were um, just in the surf here, right in here. There's Shaz waving. She reckons the first time in her life that she's ever seen a whale. There was two of them around here. I think I got a little bit of a spout there. There's tons of whales out here at the present moment. That wind is probably going to make a bit noisy. See where you see the uh, spout go. Bundies, rock. Here we go. Run up. Yep. So this is the road up to Quabba. Turn around. Low holes. flat out with whales around here at the present moment uh, next couple of days the wind's gonna die down we'll have some easy weather we might be able to get the drone up and then put the drone up over them as you see they're still over there that's about two yeah going along the coast 
famous King Wave sign, isn't it? It is. Hello. <laughs> Look. <laughs> and we've been here before. No, we haven't. Here we go. Beautiful morning today down at Quabba. Sun's coming up, as you can see. Peaceful camp here. Show you where we are. Oh, there she is. Look at that. We had a lot of rain last night, so got the awning in the whole lot. Look, I've got three campfires. Bit greedy, actually. Right, I've got the, the moon out. How's that? Got loving seagulls, buddy, annoying the shit out of you. but the wind's pretty gnarly out there and you won't be able to hear me talk. Beautiful colours. I'm going to spin you around to the top of the road. So they do look after the roads. Um, when there's bad weather they do shut the roads off and they're, they're blocked off by the gates. So, but they always keep an eye on the, on the weather forecast and are very, they communicate well with all the guests, all the stations up here. Old Betty gave us the walkthrough yesterday of what to expect for the weather. So we've got four clear days, so we're pretty wrapped. We saw our whales yesterday. We're going to go whale hunting today. So I'll close off now because you don't want to look at this road forever. Talk to you soon.
beautiful is that? Oh, wow. 2008, the disc... Sweet little campsites, hey. anybody in the nutty Shoppers open daily, there's a public phone and internet, there's hot showers every night and there's flushing toilets. So there you go, all the comforts of home. Oh yes, must check in. I suppose that's us. What? Well, Will I get a sticker? Of course. Well it's well looked after. It is very much like Lucky Bay, hey? I'm going to turn you off now because we're going past people's camps. What do you reckon of today? Yeah, it was really good. It's cold now, but it was a beautiful warm day. We, um, Ed went for a drive. He went out the gate and he turned left, so we're still heading up north. He, um, we went and had, we went as far as Nalu Station, which is right at the top of this road, just before you turn off to, turn off to station so we went to Nalu had a look at Three Mile Beach it was really well organized well set out bathrooms and accommodation is is good but did they pack them in my sardines and uh, we've got the prices on there too anyway so yeah drop a photograph of the prices drop, yeah photograph yeah, you can see what the, what the prices are what the prices are high season too isn't it yeah the high season definitely makes a big difference um, school holidays would be mental up there. Um, the campsites are a reasonable size, but when you're looking at it, um, when you walk onto the beach, this, they, they are quite packed in. There's a smaller area that they contain in, but between July and October, you get to see the whales and they're, they're plentiful. Um, if there wasn't so windy, it would have got the drone up. Would have got, There's a lot of whales at the present moment on the coast here. Yeah. Unbelievable. So from through Mile we came into Red Bluff and that was, oh my, oh my lordy, that was such a big surprise. It's nothing like we've, we thought we were going to see and it was nothing like we've seen on YouTube before when we've tried to research it. Yes, Red Bluff was first when we went down Three Mile. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Red Bluff was here. Yeah. It was beautiful, like you came in off the road, the road's a bit gnarly, it has been graded but it's still um, corrugated, just take your time, you've got all day to go nowhere. But coming into Red Bluff, it was just, you're coming off the road and you come down. 
down, up you come down the curve, up over the hill, and you just see this expanse of blue ocean against a red background. Yeah, we've got some footage of that and anyway. And it's just beautiful. Let me yeah. show you that. And there was whales there as well. Yes. And the lady at the shop there who runs, who like the caretaker, she's full of information, really nice lady. Um, red Bluff is first in best dressed, so you can't reserve a site, so you just rock up on the day. Three mile, you need to book. You could take your chances, but I wouldn't, it's too far away to um, do just a, a last minute dot com, but Red Bluff definitely. Red Bluff and Quabba. You could definitely get a space here at lastminute.com. Yeah, well, that's the same here. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I was really impressed with Red Bluff. We've it, um, picked our site out for where we're going up there. I don't know when yet. So, but yeah, no, it's been a lovely day. Right, and tonight we've got another roast, haven't we? Oh, Cheers. I was, sorry, I was getting the bubble out of Ed's sticker. It's gone now. Right. So tonight we've got another cook off on another roast. What is it? Butter. It is a boneless lamb, butterfly lamb. It's going to put it in the um, Dutch oven. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the fire, but I don't know. It's a bit windy tonight. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, hopefully it tastes alright. We've just had lunch actually. So. And I'm drinking pure freaking blonde at the moment because she has stuffed up. She thought there was cider. Uh, the wrong box. <laughs> I'm not a big beer drinker, so you can imagine to my surprise when I took a big gulp of blonde and I thought I was drinking cider. Yep. And I wasn't, I was drinking beer. Gee, that changed colour straight away when that hit down. Has the attacker done the meat? I had to put it in the oven. Shaz sitting there having a bubble. Yeah. yeah. Just having a quiet day today. Then we're out of here tomorrow. Um, yep. Got the charcoal going. Got the oven going. Got the pot roast in. Pot roast in. Yep. We're marinating in whole seeded mustard. Salt and pepper, freshly cracked, with a little bit of smoked paprika and honey. There you go.
Mmm. What's that going to taste like? We'll find out. Next chapter. Hey, you guys. We're in the camp here tonight. And we're still cooking the... Roast. Which Shaz made. And prepared. And it's in there. We're slowly cooking it. So... Yeah, no, it's not too tough. Right, I just want to show you something. Shares is way out the distance there. Right? Got your windmill. So, that's where Shares is. That's where the windmill is. She's trying to get the right photo. She made one the other day. She was fifth. 10 or 10 minutes too early when the sun's going down in the round the hollow of the windmill and it would have made a star effect she's pretty close the photo that came out was brilliant we're going to put this on youtube and you can see this right but she's look how she is she's standing out there Right, waiting for the right photo. Unbelievable, this girl. Practice makes perfect, and that's the word of it. Right, here we got, what have we got here, Shaz? Is carrots and potatoes. Potatoes. We're just having a, um, With a pap fry up. Paprika. And then we put these corn ribs. And we still got the bit of meat going in there. And that's been bubbling for the last three hours. So we're burning it now and it should be right. So we're cooking this and it looks pretty good. And look at the meat. Just How's the meat, honey? Just pulls apart. It's just pulls beautiful. apart. Look at that. How long was that on? Three hours. Three hours. Just on coals that I got out of other barbecues. And just lit it up and look at this. Mm. How good's that? And then we got this. And we've already cooked that. Um, Plus we have been chewing away, haven't we? Mm. Chewing Yummy. away at it. But, woo, the chili was a bit spicy on there and uh, that made us cough a bit. Didn't it, hun? A little bit. Oh, look at that. The cleanest, tidiest drop toilet I've ever seen. They clean daily and they have these scattered through Quabba station um, all the campsites are like in groups and every group has their own drop toilet so you can see that now I can see you doing your business you pull and there you go neat and tidy got your little check sheet on what to do toilet paper and sawdust and you can see up there in the mirror that you can sit here doing your business and looking at the view how cool is that and what I've noticed too is that a lot of them have got these antiseptic for your hands in the drop toilets which I think is great so it's neat and tidy but look at that who with a view how cool is that easy come and easy 
easy go You're an unfading star A gentle love, the kind that lifts you up No matter how far What did you just do? We just, I just went in, what is it called? The aquarium? The aquarium. Yeah, that is stunning. That is unbelievable. Straight in the front here. It'll be, the most will probably be, be about a metre deep. Yep. And half a metre all over it, all over the reefs and all this sort of stuff. Unbelievable, the colour and everything in the fish. Unbelievable. I'm glad I've done that. Was it a bit fresh in there? No, it was actually pretty nice. Was it? Yes, it was bloody good. All right, cool. Yeah, no, can't complain about that, can we? No. Hey, go on, Ed. Yeah, right, why? Did you have a look at the camp kitchen? No. And you <laughs> said... <laughs> Does that look creepy? Shaz is on the phone. What are you showing? Sunsets. See? <laughs> uh, hey, Shaz, how's things going? Start, no! Start again. I was having a couple of froffies, right? You don't really have to remove all my freaking problems <laughs> by freaking getting rid of my cans. <laughs> An old miner's trick, see? You count your piss. You count How your much... beers, beep. <laughs> you count your piss. How many you got so you don't want to go to bed? <laughs> right, where are we? We're at Galena, aren't we? We're at Galena 24 hour camping spot. And I can tell you now, I have never seen, it's like a baby boomer convention. They're everywhere. We are baby boomers, or on borderline, Ed's at work, baby boomer. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> There's about 100 vans here, and it's 24 hour campsite. Yeah, but it's a nice spot. It's clean. There's plenty of, um, plenty of facilities. There's toilets. There's um, some, tables and chairs that are well maintained and the, all the bins are clean the river's full and there's full, plenty of water around yeah looks like they've had quite a bit of rain here so we um left uh quabba quabba station this morning at, at nine, nine o'clock three so yeah that's six hours traveling um a few crazies on the road i don't mean to be nagging but when you're overtaking, can you please make sure there's enough space for you to come back in without cutting in front of a person towing a caravan? And but don't anyway. put the brakes on. No. Oh. Tell you what, there was a lot of um, there was a lot of army vehicles on the road. They must be going up north for the big uh, war games that they're doing. So they had um, at least three or four different kinds of convoys bringing up all the equipment and they had tanks on on trucks so that was quite exciting to move across and let them go through there was lots of and there was houses being moved as well wasn't there dongas dongas sorry dongas being moved 
to so, campsites up north. Mm. Uh, yeah. Busy on the road for a Saturday. Yes, very busy on the road for a Saturday and just drive to the road conditions. Oh, there goes your armor vehicles. Oh, as, we, as we're talking about oh. it now, there's... So that was a quick war game, so they only six, went up to Carnarvon this morning. Six trucks. Yeah. Oh, they must have cancelled the war games. That was a bit of excitement for us. Yeah. Um, going back to our week away. What was your highlight, Ed? A highlight was Bluff Point. Actually, Bluff Point, I saw... Red Bluff. Bluff Point. <laughs> Red Bluff is... Ask Bluff Point ask is ag a... Ask again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ed. Well, we'll talk about a holiday now. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Holiday review. What was the highlight of the week away? Red Bluff? Red Bluff. Yeah, Red, Red Bluff. That's... It was just different than what we both have seen on YouTube channels. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, people showing Red Bluff, it's totally different. It's They didn't show the beauty of the place. Coming when it's, it's, the road is a pain in the butt coming in. You will have to, if you drop your tire pressure, it is a more comfortable ride. Is we were lucky because we followed it had obviously just been graded but coming in the windy part coming up to the top of the hill to get into Red Bluff the view and the different colours was oh my god it was just stunning um, Ed will show you the footage but it just took my breath away how beautiful it was and You've got different sections that are available for, like you've got your campers and your rooftop tempers, tenters. They can go into the billy goat section because you need to be a billy goat to get up there. But the top, down the bottom at the front sections, is plenty of space for the vans our size. And we're definitely going back because the whales, especially at this time of the year, because the, the whales come in really close and it's just lovely. There's a shop there that opens from 10 till four sells food, sells an awesome cup of coffee. You do need cash though, because there's no FPOS on when it is. When they do have FPOS, it's intermittent. But yeah, couldn't bust. It was just stunning. The uh, three mile was a disappointing. Um, three mile is in, is, in Nungu, is in Nalu station. And we didn't get to Nalu Homestead, but we did get to three mile camp. And that was an eye opener. It's well set out. Um, it's a, a small camp. There's 50 sites. Just have to say sorry about the noise because there's an idiot's chainsaw on at, at the present moment. Right, so I'll try and minimise that a bit in the. Uh, but then again, part of nature, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, when this sign saying don't chop down the trees. Don't chop down the trees <laughs> and what they're doing. We've seen people walk past with uh, branches, the whole bloody lot and half a bloody tree. We can get them out in the bush. But we're here. not grouchy people, so we're not going to be that, are we? No. <laughs> then again. Uh, so, uh, three mile. We caught, we caught up with a um, well-known family on YouTube. The Cartwrights. The Cartwrights. It's lovely to have uh, a chat with them. Have a chat with them. Yeah. Um... I'll put a uh, description down in the bottom part where you know you can look at it. They're well known on uh, YouTube and yeah, you follow these guys too and they do some amazing adventures, don't they? Oh, they do. We've been following yeah. them for a while. Yeah. What I noticed about Three Camp, Three Mile though, is that you do need to book. You, you, I doubt whether you'd get in at lastminute.com with Three Mile. Um, there's different prices at different times of the year. In the school holidays, it is really expensive. Some of the front lots are about $70 to $100 a night, whereas at the, they've got different, different grades of sites. So you need to get onto the website. You need to book for three mile. Um, it's probably not our scene. It's, it's too, too, squ too, too squishy for up. us. It's, it's, you, you're packed on top of each mm. other like a sardine can. Mm. And yeah, that's not what we that's want. Not. Whereas with Red, when we went to Red Bluff and we spoke to the lady there at the front desk, it's best in, 
best dress so the first um, early bird catches the worm type of thing you get in there early in the morning and you get whatever sites are available and like they will really accommodate but the sites this they can I think at Red Bluff they the sites could be quite squishy during the busy times but we wouldn't go up there during school holidays but um, where we stayed at Quabba accommodating the lady we rang her up at lastminute.com Betty was her name and she said come on in tomorrow morning and we'll see you and that's exactly what we did we got there there was a site for us and we had a, a thoroughly enjoyable time the common facilities at Quabba are clean and tidy um, the camp kitchen, the toilets, everything is just Mickey Mouse. The long drop toilets are clean. Just stop them for the night. And on our way back home, but yes, we do have to go and work. As you see here, caravans are lined up. Everyone has been on the road for a while. Probably most of these guys have been coming from Perth and all this sort of stuff. And it's not bad to have a break now and then especially for free camp and as long as people keep it nice and tidy which it is here it's pretty nice and tidy and all this sort of stuff like as you see here <coughs> they've got the rubbish bins and a whole bloody lot right they've got toilets showers and everything out there uh not showers sorry just toilets uh yeah As you can see down in Galena at the moment, Shaz is doing some cooking and all that sort of stuff. This is that free camping area. It's 60 k's out of Northampton. Right, let's have a look at this as we're wandering through. Because we've had a lot of uh, rain this bridge to go across and yeah how's that bit of difference bit boggy all around here don't think you catch fish here might get the odd turtle now and then because there is turtles around here as you see here you can park on this side there you go, and you can park on the opposite side. There's that, not bad for a, a 24 hour stopover and have a campfire, something to eat on your way to Shark Bay or anything like that. Oh, there must be fish in here, little ones, all scattered everywhere. So as you see here, yeah, nice. They all stop bloody chainsawing, which is good. We were here when they had the COVID going and uh, we took a drive up here and there was absolutely no one around. This is um, an old mining camp. Uh, that has to do with the convicts ruins down at um, in Port Gregory um, yeah I know, don't know much about it but I've been told to look it up but yeah every time I come down here it's a history that goes together so whatever they've done with the, the mine here that got sent to Northampton where they had the factory or the battery or anything like that and the convicts from Linton Station apparently worked also there. I'm not quite sure because I've only been to told half of the history um, and never really followed it up. But for anyone that's interested, just follow it up if you're into that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, that is around this area. Put that on. As you see, Shaz is just cooking now. She must be cooking onions look at that onion oh that's why you put the glasses on 
She put the glasses on so she can't see the teardrops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Han. It's turn for cooking tomorrow. Yeah. We'll be at home then. No filming then. <laughs> well, morning. Last but least. We're ready to head off. And I've got the sun coming up here behind me. As you see. Somewhere over there. As you see around here, a lot of puddles. Yeah, we're going to hit the road pretty early, so uh, we're only an hour away from home, and uh, yeah, so hope you guys like this movie that we just put up, or video, whatever you want to call it, and remember, like and subscribe. Thank you. What are we going to say? Happy Chappers. Happy campus! Happy campus! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> well done! For the people that recognise us on the, our YouTube channel, even if we are small, there must be a lot more people watching us. small in numbers in YouTube, not small as in size, because we have a decent footprint on the ground. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what which I mean is, uh, it was the, nice. the subscribe part is not that huge at the present moment, but it looks like there's a lot more people that are watching us without subscribing, mm. because. Um, Surprised us actually that uh, yeah we got asked for come selfies. Up, yeah. Come up and have a chat. We're always good yeah. for a chat. And so yeah, no, we'd love to see you on the roads. So from us to you, safe travels. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you around. Cheers. Cheers.